What I wanted to show you today is something that I ran into when I was creating an article for my website on MikeShuey.com. So specifically, I created this article. It's called My Blogging Toolset for 2024. Now, this article is based on a video that I recently did for my YouTube channel. A lot of times I like to repurpose content from YouTube and put it on my website. So this is the article. Scan through here a little bit. When I created this particular article, everything that's in this is basically a transcription of my words. So what I did is I went to a tool that I use for transcription. It's called exemplary.ai. And by the way, if you need a good transcription tool, this is available on appsumo.com as a lifetime deal. And so that's what I did is I used this tool. And here it is. It did this transcription. Uh, and here's the full transcription right here. And the only thing that I really did to this was I took it over into Grammarly. And then when I was in Grammarly, I ran through uh, and for most of the suggestions, I went ahead and used them. And I ended up with this 98 overall readability score by the time that I finished. So I was really curious to do something that I hadn't done in the past. I just wanted to see if I could take the transcription from my video, which is entirely in my own words. When I do a video for my YouTube channel, I rarely script anything. In fact, I don't think I've ever scripted a video except maybe an introduction. Typically, I just work from bullet points. Maybe when you're watching my videos, you can tell. Occasionally, you see jump cuts and things like that where I go off on a tangent and I have to cut stuff out. But I just hate working from a script. I can't do it. I'm not good at it. So everything that's in this article is my words. The only thing that's occurred is I've had Grammarly make corrections. So then I went over to originality.ai. I was curious what kind of AI detection score I would get from originality.ai from my own words where all I've done is run them through Grammarly uh, so Grammarly can look at the way I've created the article and make it more readable. So I ran the detection, and this is what I got. 68% original, 32% AI. So is it an anomaly in their algorithm that's possible? Is it something that Grammarly is doing that makes originality think the changes that are being made our AI content, I guess having Grammarly correct some of my grammar and my mistakes is essentially AI, but it just seems like a really high score, you know, 68% original, 32% AI. So what I did is I went back to exemplary.ai and I ran another transcription. So in this case, I had a video called How Long to Get to a Thousand Subscribers. So this is the transcription. When I created this, I had no script whatsoever. I used no AI tools whatsoever. So let's go ahead and see if I copy this exactly as transcribed by exemplary.ai. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go to originality, my own words, I'm not even running this through Grammarly because I want to see, does running something through Grammarly trigger something in originality.ai's detection algorithms? So let's paste this in. Notice I'm just detecting for AI. So I'm going to go ahead and scan it. And I'm really curious to see what we get. I have no idea. All right, here's the score. 98% original, 2% AI. So this is 100% original text. It's detecting something as AI. I'm not quite sure what. I don't see anything in red. It says there's an 89% likelihood of it not being AI generated. The only thing I can think of where the score is being affected is running this transcription through Grammarly. I'm going to do that now, and we're going to see what happens when I try this again. I'm going to go into Grammarly and after I've went through and had Grammarly make corrections, I'll run it through originality again and see what we get. All right, I've made changes to this transcription. I've got the score up to a 98 like the other one that I just showed you. 
Let's go ahead and copy it and let's go over to originality. Remember, here was the original score with no Grammarly corrections. 98% original, 2% AI. Let's go ahead and put the new article in and let's scan it again. Interesting, 95% original, 5% AI. So I'm not sure exactly what happened with this scan. But what it does show me is, you know, I just have a really hard time getting hung up on AI detection scores because a lot of it just depends on what the algorithm is looking at, how it perceives a piece of text. There's just so many things going on. And of course, all of this is proprietary to originality.ai. And any AI detection tool you use, their scanning algorithms are all proprietary. So it's very hard to understand why this one would get scored 68% original, 32% AI. And I was in Grammarly and I took it to a 98 readability score. And then this transcription, 95% original, 5% AI after running it through Grammarly and taking it to a 98 readability score. I'm just showing you this so you can see the differences in the scores that I got in originality.ai. I don't have any paid subscriptions to other AI detection tools, so I wasn't able to check it across multiple AI scanning tools, but uh, I just wanted to point this out because I thought it was just so unique that I suddenly got this score of 68 percent original and 32 percent AI. I was worried that the changes Grammarly was making was somehow making the text look more like AI generated text, but the two scores here are just so different that I don't think that's the case. I'm going to go ahead and chalk up the 68 percent original 32 percent AI score to uh, a false positive. So something burped in the algorithm, caused some false positives, leading to this 32% AI score. Well, for some reason, this time around, that didn't happen. And I'm showing up at 95% original, as I uh, suspected that I would. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this little experiment. I thought it was pretty interesting. I hope you found it interesting as well. Again, if you need a good transcription tool, highly recommend exemplary.ai. It does many things beyond transcription. It takes your YouTube video transcript and you can change it into YouTube shorts. You can turn it into tweets. You can create summaries, just lots of things that you can do with the tool. It's over at appsumo.com. There's a link in the description. And just as a point of clarification, I am an AppSumo affiliate. And so if you were to purchase exemplary.ai, I would make a commission. So thanks for watching. Make sure and like, subscribe, and until next time, take care.